I have been walking around this place trying to find the Rigol product line because a lot of you guys, especially in the European market, you've been asking for Rigol products and I've never seen them in person. But I found them, they're here, and we're gonna take a look right now. All their products seem to be very well built, very durable, beautiful to screens, physical buttons, you know, all the stuff that I like in test equipment. So let's take a look. All right guys, first off, let's check out this electrical safety analyzers. There's two of them, there's the Safe Test 50 and the Safe Test 99, and you can see your port for plugging in is in the top. Look at that big, beautiful screen. Physical buttons right on the front. It's beautiful. Very intuitive. I feel like I could give these to anybody and send them out in the field and they know what to do. Here's an attached option. This is for the 99 series. You got your EKG. So you can do EKG traces and uh, simulations. On all these Rigol series, you see that the, the screen itself is a little uh, below the surface. It is on these, on those, all the way down. We'll get to those in a minute. But the screen being below the surface and still being very legible uh, off to the side, it's a beautiful screen and I want to protect it. And that's how they protect it. These guys have it sitting down, subdued in the surface. It's very important to me because some of the manufacturers place the screen flush with the surface and that's how they get damaged. You know, you throw it in a tool bag, put it on a service cart and it's going to get dinged. I could throw it on its face these guys are going to be safe. What a beautiful device. So that is the Rigel electrical safety analyzers, the 99 and the 50. <laughs> Next one, guys. Some of you guys have been asking me about their infusion pump analyzers. Take a look at this guy. We got four channels, big, beautiful buttons. You guys know I like big buttons. We got a nice, colorful screen. In fact, it's so bright that my phone isn't really picking it up too well. And the cool thing is, you can see it at quite the angle. So it's a really good display on there. Again, the display is, is a little subdued to the surface. I don't have to worry about things dinging into it. Good infusion pump analyzer. I dig it. It's going to look excellent on a bench. The next one in the Unisim. This is a full patient simulator. We've got ECG, we got the SPO2. It has. Up here you can see the white. It does uh, non-invasive blood pressure. Look at this large keyboard right on the front. So if I'm wearing gloves and I gotta type in the model serial number or something, it's really nice. I wish the display was color and maybe a little bit better font, but uh, this is definitely a right step. This is a very durable product. I guarantee this guy is gonna last a decade. Take a look at this guy got straps and those are metal it feels like so I could zip tie something to it uh, like cables or whatnot what a really nice patient simulator this guy right here I was very excited about I covered this at, a, at another uh, bench I briefly glanced over it this is a uh, ventilator uh, monitor tester you see it's got the O2 but these guys also have an added option which is off to the back, so that you can also do anesthetic gases. And here you go. Take a look at that. So you can test your, your vaporizers, you can test your uh, EGMs, you can test a lot of stuff with this guy, not just ventilators. The display on this guy is absolutely fantastic. This is the IMT Analytics, the Citrix H5, and it is a touch screen. You can see it's very bright and really high resolution. My phone does not give it justice because all these little numerics off here over there on the side, they're actually very legible in real life. So I dig it. This is gonna be one heck of a piece for somebody's toolkit. It's also got a manometer right there on the back so you can do pressures. So that's the vent analyzer from IMT. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? This is the Unipulse 400. And this is a really original approach to, to taking a look for uh, defibs. You see that it's got this little test pad off to the side. Let's take a look at the top. We got the ECG. What else we got over there? Oh, pacer leads. Yep, excellent. Plus it's got USB. 
the screen on this guy is actually really nice. It's, it's compact, it's beautiful. And since you don't always have to have this guy, they have jigs that you can uh, plug in here to the banana plugs and run to your Zoll or run to your Physio Control Life Pack. And uh, so this would be actually be the most compact defib analyzer I think I've seen yet. And again, there's keeping with the trend, a nice, big, beautiful screen. It's subdued to the surface, so it's not gonna get damaged if you throw it on its face. Physical keyboard with nice, large function buttons for all the different functions. That's the hardest part with a lot of defib analyzers is the layout and the user interface. So far, it looks like this one was done right. I've got the Regal. I know, guys, they, they got quite the lineup here. Regal 288 as an electrical safety analyzer. Take a look at this, right front and center on the front. Uh, these guys do export uh, so that you can attach it to your work order. Nice large keyboard, you type in your serial number, or your item ID. I wish the display was more like these ones here, but mind you, Regal's in the process of updating some of their products. And if they kept the same form factor with an updated display, this would be such a win. this guy right here, the vent test. Now it does approximately the same thing as this guy. There is, there's not too much major, because there it takes an option in order to do uh, anesthetants on this guy too. So you got this guy with its nice, beautiful screen, albeit smaller. You got this guy for benches. Now this guy here, I, I wish they'd update the display. Of course the display is the one thing that I have a problem with because when you're looking at it straight on, you can see that it gets a little bit of washout, right? Because of those old school type of technology in the display. The numerics are a little bit small for my preference. Look at the numerics on that guy. You see what I'm talking about? See that? There is a difference. I do think that this is gonna be a much better piece of kit if you're a vent or anesthesia guy. But this one here is still a very durable piece of equipment. Take a look right here. Physical buttons, you know I like that. Pretty good user interface, The pretty much the same stuff we've seen for the last decade or two, but it's got some nice options in there. Again, I like the touch screen, I like the large numerics and the brighter display. Oh my gosh, guys, some of you guys have been asking me about this guy, and I had not seen one person, so I'm very excited that I have this opportunity. You guys know some of my complaints with the Fluke model and the day trend. The day trend's got the, the display that's detached from the main unit. What if it gets lost or broken or whatever? Seems like it's a selling factor, but it's not. I want it all in one unit. Problem with day trend is there's no physical buttons. It's kind of a pain in the ass to uh, migrate around. The Fluke doesn't have enough buttons. The Fluke does not have descriptions next to the ports that tell you what they do. Take a look at this guy. There's actually descriptions that show you what to do. A very bright, big display. Take a look at this. Let's see, I need to get out of this menu. I'll have to, oh, stop. All right? All right, I, got, I need to figure, this. okay. It was telling me to hit the green. I should have hit the green. So here's a very cool feature of these guys. Like the day trend, who has a diagram that shows you what to do. Notice the big color display, fluke. Big, beautiful color display. They have physical buttons instead of touchscreen, which is okay, but they have the show diagram. See this? They have a pretty good description. You got your neutral, your cut, you know what pins to connect it to, and they're color coordinated. You see that? You know what to connect to what because of color coordination. And then over here, are the other ports that you connect to for, for doing load resistance and variable loads. So this is the Rigel Unitherm. I would love to do a demo on this. I would love to do a demo on all this stuff because I'm, I'm very demanding of my test equipment. It's all about efficiency and it's all about being able to read what you gotta do. And I wanna be able to give a piece of test equipment to somebody that's never used it before give them 30 seconds worth of, of how-to and send them in the field. It's a lot of products I can't do that with, but I probably can with these ones. So that is the entire Rigel medical equipment test product line.
and it looks like it's gonna be very promising. All right, guys, that is some more coverage from day two. I'm glad I got around to talking to these guys. Rigo Medical, uh, it's looking good. I'll give you some more videos on this stuff probably when I get a demo and I can actually put it to use and see just how well it works. Thanks for watching, guys.